that. I am in Webflow right now, and I just built an app within Webflow with AppGen. That is amazing. This is Tailwind V4. Yo, okay, this has been absolutely sick. Wake up, this is not a drill. Webflow has just released AppGen. So if you watched our WebflowConf recap video, you'll know that AppGen was the thing that I was most excited about. Julian, I saw you going off in the comments. You seemed excited. Yeah, yeah. I am super hyped to see this. Yesterday, without any real warning, Webflow just released it. And I'm about to try it for the first time with you on camera. So I started this site over here, just saying, make me a car payment calculator, with Webflow's AI Site Builder. We actually just made a video on the AI Site Builder. Go check that out if you're interested because this video is all about AppGen. So I'm gonna click on AppGen and my goal is to just make an app for this. So I'm just gonna explain it, make me a car payment calculator. We're gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna write up my prompt right now. All right, so I just said build a car payment calculator which has simple inputs and shows people how much their monthly payment will be and for how long they will have to pay for. That's good, we're just gonna start off just like that, super simple, and I'm gonna hit submit and we'll see what happens. All right, so it is said it built me my calculator and this thing here popped up, get started with app gen, sync your styles, add components and collection, ship with speed. So ship your styles, this means it's gonna use your variables in Webflow. So if you know how to properly set up your variables and use those right, then I bet this is gonna make something that looks very similar to your site. I am notoriously bad at using variables and components, so uh, I probably need to get a little bit better at that. But anyways, along with that, add components and collections. So. I guess I can bring in like, let's say my nav bar or something like that. That's super cool. And then ship a speed, deploy to Webflow Cloud seamlessly. That is amazing, that part I already knew. All right, so I'm gonna close this off and here we have our car payment calculator. And uh, I don't know why this bit is blue, but anyways, that was like our one shot from a simple prompt. So that is wonderful. How can we try this out? Okay, I can actually try this out live right here in the canvas. So let's just say I'm gonna up, get a nice car, 100 grand. All right, down payment. Let's say 30,000, uh, I don't even know what APR means. I'm financially illiterate. So let's go ahead and say seven and a half. That's okay, I think, I don't know. Let me know if that's terrible. And loan term, let's do three years. Okay, that is a big car payment and I wouldn't advise it. Look at that. I am in Webflow right now and I just built an app right here within Webflow with AppGen. That is Amazing. Uh, so I don't even really understand how this is built. Let's go ahead and just check out the code. Okay, so this is using Astro, which makes sense. I guess Webflow sponsors Astro. And uh, I just use Next.js typically for my projects. I don't really know the benefits of Astro over Next.js. Um, if anyone wants to share that with me, go ahead and let me know. You also have a terminal over here. So I guess you can just do anything. Let's say I can go ahead and like install Shad CN and see the dev server is running. So it really made this a lot easier. Like I have a video where I explain how to get into vibe coding. You have to install these dependencies. You have to set up the whole thing. Then you have to run dev. And if you're not a developer, you know, it's possible. Like, believe me, I'm not a developer, but it can feel really intimidating. And Webflow, just without me having to do any of that stuff, like that, that's absolutely a game changer, right? So how can I actually browse my, okay, so the navigator, similar to in Webflow where you see all of your stuff, the navigator here opens your different files. So you can see all that and I can edit this. Let's go ahead and say, um, find out instead of calculate, for example. Why is it jumping around? Do I need to save it or does it save automatically? Okay, well, I clearly spelled that wrong. Cal to outculate your monthly car payment. Okay, anyways, let's let's continue the prompting a little bit. So I'm gonna say this is like blue. First of all, if I go to design over here, then I can see the usual look of my site and I don't really see that blue. I don't know where it got that blue from. I suppose it's some sort of variable, right? So now I can go ahead and click app gen over here and it's gonna pop open and it says apps. So that means I can make multiple apps under the exact same site. That's really cool. I did not realize that. That is gonna make things a whole lot easier. So like, let's say you have an agency site, you can do like a Webflow project calculator, you can do like an SEO calculator, you can do calculators galore. I mean, calculators are like the most simple use case for this, but uh, I think it's a good thing to do for testing. Let's go and find some things we don't like. My five coding design workflow is this simple. I find whatever on the page I hate the most and I say change it and then, it's better and uh, I find what I hate the most now and then I change that. So what I hate the most now is why is this blue? I'm gonna say, can you make this background like black? 
you know, kind of go with the rest of the theme. We've got like beige and then we're going to have black. So that's what I'm going to say right now. All right, so I said the payment summary card has a blue background for some reason. Can you make it match the rest of my site and have a black background similar to the footer on my homepage? So I'm interested to see if it knows, like if it has context of my homepage or not. I would assume it does, but I'm not quite sure. What does this do? This little clear thread. Okay, no, we're not gonna click that. Let's, ah, red footer. Now footer JSX, I don't know if that's my actual like Webflow footer or if that's something in this project. Um, I don't see any footer though, so I'm gonna assume it indeed does have context of my Webflow footer. All right, so just like that, it indeed changed it. Is this the same color as my footer? This looks kind of green, if I'm not wrong. Is my footer green? No, my footer's not green, so I don't know quite where it got that color from. I suppose it is one of my variables if we look at colors over here okay yeah so accent primary is like green now i did clearly say make it black so it should have done this probably neutral inverse um it made it green instead whatever that can happen so it did make a big improvement i will give it that so i'm gonna go ahead and do some more prompting now i'm gonna tell it to remove the shadows for example all right, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna forget about removing the shadows and I'm gonna ask it if it can use Shad CN for this. So what I would usually do in vibe coding a project in order to get, you know, a nice looking appearance without having to fight the AI too much is I would just use Shad CN and I would use the Shad CN MCP. Now, I don't think you can actually install MCPs in this. If you could install MCPs in this, that would be amazing. And it's in beta, so I'm assuming more features are gonna come soon. But that is definitely one reason right there why I wouldn't use this for all of my projects yet. If I could install MCPs, like I use the MemberStack MCP for everything, not just because I work at MemberStack, but because I can hook it up and get like working authentication payments in a database without having to actually touch a dashboard. And so I use that for everything. And if I can't install that in Webflow Cloud, AppGen, then, you know, that's an issue, but we're just testing it right now. I'm assuming that's gonna come soon, or maybe it's already here and I just don't know how to access it yet. But anyways, enough of that. I'm gonna tell it now to install Shad CN and rebuild this UI using Shad CN components, and hopefully it does a good job at that. Okay, okay, now I am excited. So I said to use Shad CN and it's like, we're already using Shad CN. I never told it to do that. That is really exciting to me because I always have to set up Shad CN and it's a pain. And I always talk about like, why don't people just have this built in? Why aren't there vibe coding tools with Shad CN built into it? I think we found one guys made by our friends over at Webflow. And that makes sense because while this was generating, I was looking at these range sliders. I'm like, oh, it's an awful lot like Shad CN range sliders. So this is indeed Shad CN. And now it's added some new things in with tabs. This is the easiest I've ever got Shad CN set up. Like this is absolutely phenomenal. I wonder which Tailwind version we're using. Is this Tailwind V4 or Tailwind V3? Let's find out. This is Tailwind V4. Like I use Claude Code usually, right? And Tailwind V4 is like Claude Code's mortal enemy. Every time I try to make it use Tailwind V4, it's like, let's just use V3 because it's more compatible. I'm like, no, I want to use the newest version. That is absolutely phenomenal. So, okay, we have our car payment calculator here. I'm going to go ahead and say, now let me take a quick look at the design. I'm pretty sure our navigation is a component. I'm going to ask it to bring in like our site navigation and our site footer. So let's go back into AppGen and ask it to do that. Yo. All right, all right, all right. That is the footer and that is the nav from my Webflow site. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and click deploy. I have made something that works. It's synced with my Webflow site. It uses my Webflow nav and footer. It's got Shad CN with Tailwind V4. I'm at 18 minutes on the clock right now. If this is a one-click deploy, then I think we're looking at something major here. I was excited for, for Webflow app gen. You know, that's no secret. But I don't know if I took it that seriously when I saw it at Conf. It was like, this is cool. This is probably gonna be cool. Play around with this. But like, this is 
is an actual formidable competitor now to my usual vibe coding stack. I don't want to get too carried away. I need to try this. I need to see its limitations. Like I said, if I can't install MCPs in it, then that's a problem. Just because then my workflow is going to change. I'm going to have to click a lot more buttons and a lot more dashboards than what I usually have to do with my usual stack. But that's a very easy addition to this, right? So this is still deploying, still deploying. Webflow Cloud takes a long time to deploy. That is something I do not like about Webflow Cloud. Like I've waited four minutes, three minutes, all that stuff. But again, we're, we're early on in this and I can see that Webflow is making a lot of progress. Look at this. Your app will soon be available at carpaymentscalculator.webflow.io slash carpaymentcalculator. Okay, Webflow, you guys have been cooking. All right, well, we're going to wait for this to deploy for probably longer than I would like. Uh, but then after that, if we're left with something that I can literally add to the internet that quickly, <laughs> I'm pretty excited. All right, app deployed, guys, app deployed. Let me go in design mode here. I'm assuming I have to, yeah, I haven't published the site yet, right? So I have to publish the site, I'm assuming. And then I have to go ahead and open that. So let me actually, you know what? Let me just add a quick link up here. So in tools, I guess if I like open that, this is a sick nav bar. Good job, Webflow. I didn't even take note of how good that nav bar was. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and just make this one like calculator and then link it to, I wonder if there's like additional, okay. So if I click this right here and I do page, yeah, okay, no, so it's not in the page. That's, that's expected. So I do slash car payment calculator. Oh, spelled that wrong, calculator. And then I'm gonna publish that just so I can click it easier. I don't have to like type it into the, I'm lazy guys. Okay, so we're gonna let this publish and then we're gonna take a look and we have our moment of truth. So what we have here is a page that was built with Webflow AI. You know, I made this with one prompt. I didn't even pay much attention to it. It's nice looking. It's a good starting point. It's kind of basic, it's kind of bland. Uh, but it's all good. All right, so now if I go to this calculator over here, yo, okay, so this is amazing. This is amazing, I can go ahead and click 20K, 40K, 20%. I'm just gonna get like the worst car payment possible. Let's see, let's see what it is. $100,000 car, $0 down payment, 15% APR and seven year loan term. Look at that. Okay, so cost per month, 1900. This was made with a couple prompts, guys. Interest, tips. Okay, so this is increase your down payment, shorter loan, shop around for rates. Does that actually change if I update things? So like, let's say I decrease. Uh, okay, no, so these are fixed, you know, fine, one prompt. Guys, okay, so first test of Webflow app gen. It has done amazing. This is the nav bar from my Webflow site. This is its own thing going on. I can actually make more of these. It uses variables from my Webflow site. We got the footer too. This to me seems like it is the perfect blend of vibe coding and being a Webflow developer because I can build things, but I can also go in Webflow, build components. It automatically uses DevLink to bring my components into my app. Guys, this has been honestly a, I'm gonna rate this a nine out of 10. No one asked for a rating and I don't usually do ratings, but I'm excited right now. So uh, Webflow App Gen is getting a nine out of 10 in my books. This has been absolutely sick. Okay, guys, I don't know what else to say. I need to make some more videos where I'm actually giving this real, real shots, trying to build businesses with it, launching things. And maybe then we're gonna find more downsides that I haven't found in this video. But I mean, from my first look, Webflow App Gen has absolutely impressed me. You know, I would tell you guys if I didn't feel that way. So, so enough excitement from my end. Go ahead and try AppGen yourself. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to give it a bigger run for its money. Have a great day.